Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Everyone needs a community. You know, one of the biggest issues out here is loneliness. Loneliness. Now, there's been a big deal made about single, like, lonely men out here. And people are talking about it for various reasons. But I'm going to tell you what, even in relationships sometimes, we could still be lonely. There are many sexless marriages. There are many marriages where they really are just roommates. And because of work schedules, they're not interacting. And then there's just a variety of things. And then even before you get to that point, there's many people. They're not around like-minded people. They're not in a community. See, when I say community, I don't necessarily mean a physical community. Not at all. I mean, yeah, that's still important. Hey, that's great. If you live in a neighborhood where everyone is getting along, it's a real community, people interact with each other, which that's not a big thing anymore. It's very possible in this day and age, you can have, you can live years next, literally next door to someone and not really know them. You might say hi at best, but it's not a real community. We don't have that. And that's just one level, but the communities I'm talking about is a community of simply like-minded people, you know? And you do have plenty of those. You do have plenty of those, but then many other people, they aren't in one of those communities. So a community, it could be a bunch of people who like collecting uh, butterflies. Seriously, it could be like, or looking at them, bird watches, that's a community. Uh, when, I, when I go to the different gyms, one of the things I found, especially after working at a gym uh, years ago, I'll never, never forget what an assistant manager said. She said, this is a community. This is a community. I remember a bookstore in the Washington, D.C. area. You would go there and the owner, he didn't sell that many books. But you have... You have uh, Men who would come in there and they would sit around and shoot the breeze like it was a barbershop. A barbershop is a community. See, when I'm saying community is being able to be around some people that you share interests with, that you can talk to. Because one of the biggest issues out here, many people are just alone. That's one thing. People will talk about social media and everything. And yes, that can bring, some, that can bring people together of course, and you do have some communities there, but sometimes people just get into their own world. And that's what the sad thing. See, understand something with people. No one is meant to be an island. No one is meant to be. No one is meant to be alone, you know? We all want to be around someone who shares our viewpoint, our values. Some, some, we want to be around people who do the same things we do. Like I use the example of a gym. As soon as you walk in, in most cases, it is a community. People are going to know each other, say hi. They might not even stop and know each other's names, but you know that all of a sudden, if you start paying attention, it develops a sort of uh, um, etiquette in there. And yeah, of course, you got some people who might violate it, but if you look at the overall community, People are on the same general page. And then people have people they have something automatically in common with. And that's just one example. That's just one example. Uh, you know, if you look at coffee shops, people are going there just chill. They can become communities because people need that. Because, all right, okay, we know about all the things people can do, but there are just so many people. So many people, they don't have that. They don't have that. There's so many people, they don't have uh, a real community. They, they work and they go home. You know, maybe they'll play video games, maybe they'll watch TV, but they don't have anybody just to talk to. That's the important thing, just to, just to communicate, just to have it. Like, that was the beauty of the family when it came into being like a real family. That's a community in itself. And, but you have some people, they're not connected well with their family or families they don't really, um, you know, have gatherings uh, as they used to. But that's a basic community right there. 
is a, is a culture within itself. And everyone needs that because that's how we are built. That is how we are built. Indeed, I've seen, um, I've seen a couple studies, nothing recent, but I've seen some stuff where it said if people in the hospital, it's very important for them to get visitors. That's a community. Because the reason why people feel, have you noticed, like if someone is down, like say someone is down, they're real down, they can actually get better if they just around just some people who are friends, who are like-minded, and they can just talk with each other. And I've seen, I've witnessed it. Somebody might be down, but they get around that community, and it could be a small community. It doesn't matter, but it's still um, people communing. That's very powerful. That is very powerful. And indeed, someone who has several communities, they are supremely blessed. But everyone needs at least one community of like-minded people. And I'm going to tell you what, even though there's many without, one of the beauties of today, one of the beauties of even social media, people can meet up more. People can meet up more. Even um, in um, certain communities, people might think that people have a problem because uh, anyone who knows me knows uh, I'm very big into subcultures and communities of that sort. And that's because back in the 90s, I worked at the Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division, Disability Rights Section. And that's when I found out about the deaf community. Like in that community, they don't see, many of them don't see being deaf as, a, as an issue, just a different way of being. Indeed, uh, American Sign Language, ASL, that's considered a language. They consider it a culture and they, they really, you know, they people, they, uh, the members of it, they interact based on it within the autism community. Um, and yes, that's a community. If all you have to do is um, Google it. You have people who are on the spectrum yet especially through the internet, especially through social media, finding ways to come together. And it could, it could be a variety of things. So, I mean, it could, like I said, it could be butterfly collection. It could be stamp collection, you know? And yeah, of course, unfortunately, but it's still a community. Some people want some more negative stuff, but it's still a community. People need that. People need that. And what I would suggest for those of you who don't feel like you have a community, it, it here's my strong suggestion, because I'll just say um, someone I'm familiar with lacks a community, and that's what inspired this. And it's a sad thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Think about what you like to do and then go do it. It doesn't take much. You have, especially with social media, you could just you could just put, put, put in a few words in a search engine and you can probably find some people who there's either, you know, maybe some message board or maybe local events, stuff of that. Get out. Just do what you like to do. Whatever you like to do, it don't matter what it is, no matter how obscure. I remember years ago, I saw something about a picky eaters community, a picky eaters community. And I think I always think about that reason because my youngest son is actually a picky eater and they just came together. They saved a lot on um, like catering and everything, but you know, but they still came together. So just look, there are other people out there who think like you. Now, is it in the millions? Maybe not, but it doesn't need to be. It could be, it could be a few hundred, it could be a few, but people need that. We need that, we built that way. Human beings are built to be tribal. We are built, we are built to be in a community. And it's, it's real bad when someone doesn't have that. It could affect their mental health. It could affect this uh, actual physical health as well. So if you, don't, if you don't feel like you have a community, just look around, just get out. Somebody is there, somebody is there for you. And indeed, sometimes, hey, look, Maybe you have to be a leader if you don't have anything, but you have a special interest. Maybe you have to be a leader and create stuff. And I've, I've, I've seen that. I've seen people create communities off of the most interesting things. I'll put it like that. But it's still a community. So everyone needs one. 
So that's all I have for today. I want y'all to get out. I want everybody to find the like-minded people. All right. So everyone, you have a peaceful day today. Peace and blessings. Keep rising.